Alright, I'm going to show you how you can play Day of, Day of the Tentacle on a Mac computer. This also works for Windows computers. So, if maybe you had this game before and you lost it, but you'd still like to play it, or if you have never played these types of games before and you want to try it, or maybe if you just want to see um, if it can be downloaded off the internet, this video is showing you that that is possible. So, okay, you're going to need several things. You need, first of all, the BitTorrent client, you need the game files, you need the decompressor, and then um, I'm going to show you two options that you can run uh, Day of the Tentacle in. You either need the Scum Engine or a DOS emulator called DOSBox. So, um, okay, the first way we're going to do it is we're going to go in, um, we're going to do the Scum Engine, but either way, you need to watch this beginning part. So the first thing is that we need a BitTorrent client. Go to utorrent.com. Any client works actually. You can use BitTorrent, you can use BitComet, but I use this one and I like it. So, um, I guess it must automatically detect which computer you have because you just go free download and then my computer is a Mac so it's a, it says for Mac. What it does is it automatically downloads then it asks you, so you, after it downloads you open it, um, it asks you to put it into your applications folder which is a good idea. So once you've got that um, you can open it if you'd like. I got rid of it because if you put it in a separate folder um, you won't be able to see it. Anyway, it's not a big deal because it's only one file. You don't really need to see it. The next thing we have is we need to get the game files. So we go to the piratebay.org. We look up Day of the Tentacle after it loads. Okay, Day of the Tentacle. Okay, you might be thinking that you can't be able to play it because they all say that they are for PC computers, which is um, computers that run Windows. So if you run Windows, no worries. If you run Mac, no worries too. You actually can play it. So you want this one, Day of the Tentacle Classic. You want this classic one. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to download it. It shows up here. After it's downloaded, you can run it. Okay, so we've got our BitTorrent client, we've got the game files, and then if we go to Finder, um, we'll see why we need the decompressor. Okay, normally this folder, um, I think it's called something else, and I had to rename it because of DOSBox. I'll get back to that later. Anyway, if you're running Scum, it, it doesn't matter what you call it, or if you're storing it in a folder, called DOS games or if you're just st storing it in your um, downloads folder. So um, right now we're just gonna assume that it's in your downloads folder. Like just pretend it says da it, I didn't move it to downloads. You don't need DOSBox if you're running the scum engine. So anyway, you should get this file, devthetentacle.rar. Um, that should be the only file in this folder. So why do you need to open it? So. Uh, I mean, why do you need a decompressor? Because that's the only way you can unzip a file. Mac didn't come, my Mac didn't come with a decompressor, so I had to download one. Zipeg and Stuff It are apparently both um, recommended freeware. So what you do is you go to zipeg.com. Um, and I think it works for... Uh, Windows and Mac. I'm pretty sure it does. So you just go, but you, you make sure make sure that it, you've got the right one. Okay. Um, so you go download it. You download it like normal. It shows up in your finder. Um, let's go back to our finder. Do you have the tentacle.rar? You go open, open with zipbag. Okay, notice how it has all of these files in it. So what you do is you go shift click. Um, I go right click, but it might be, um, it might be control click. I'm not really sure. Um, so then you go extract. You extract all of these, um, files, or you extract this folder. Um, I'm pretty sure what it does is that it will save all of this inside the Day of the Tentacle, um, folder onto your desktop. What you then do 
is you drag it from your desktop and drag it into your Day of the Tentacle folder, whatever its name is. The next thing we need is um, a way to run it. So DOS users can um, skip this part and come back to later. Um, Scum Engine users want to watch this. So we go and find our free Scum Engine. So then we go down, uh, down, download Scum free. We click on this site, Soft Tonic. We go free download. Uh, what's going to happen then is it's going to show up here in your Finder folder. Um, and it's going to show up in your downloads. It will, it's going to look like this one. It's going to show up as an external drive. You open it, and then you have the scum folder. You drag it into your Applications folder. After that, you click on your Applications folder. Go to your Scum Engine. None of these games should be here, so you go Add Game. Next, we find out where we saved it. In this case, it's under this folder. Um, I recommend keeping it under Downloads if you use the Scum Engine, because then you'll be able to see it. So then you go Day of the Tentacle. And then you go, yeah, that's it, you have the tentacle. You open it and see how it's already here. So that works, you press OK, I already have it. So then you go, that should show up, and then you press Start. And then you'll see it works fine. OK, the, there is one more way that you can do this. If you're a Scum Engine user, you can stop watching now. OK. But if you're curious about DOSBox, um, keep watching. Okay, so if you want to use DOSBox, let's go to DOSBox free. And then I also got it from here. It, it works um, fine. I mean, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter where you get it. Actually, this is not where I got it. Anyway, you click on you click on one of these sites. In fact, you could probably um, run it here. Anyway, I'll provide the link for you wherever you want to download it from. It's really easy. Um, you just download it. It shows up in your Finder. Um, that's scum. It shows up in your Finder like this. It should look like this. It's also, if you'll notice, it's also an external drive. That's what this one's about. Um, and you want to take this DOS box, you want to take this DOS box application inside this external DOS box drive folder, um, take it back to your Day of the Tentacle folder, so it would look like this, then you go and drop it in there. See, so it's in here. Now I'm going to open my text edit and then walk you, walk us through this. Okay, so the first thing we do is we go, we type this in config, config, space, dash write comp, space, dos box, dot com. Okay, now after I press enter, just keep your eye over here. Notice how this thing shows up. So that's really important. The next thing. I'm going to show you is that if you if you if this day of the tentacle folder is inside DOS games, you're going to type mount c space squiggly slash DOS games. If I had left it inside my downloads folder, I would type mount c space squiggly slash downloads, not DOS games, but downloads. Okay, so then I'm just going to backspace. You would press enter. You type in C, semicolon, press enter. And then type CD, space, the name of your folder. In this case, it's Detenta. It's this folder. Um, you can leave it as, you can, 
um, you can name these folders whatever you want. Oh, which is probably why I also had to move it. I, I'm not sure if DOS games has to be eight characters or less, but I know for sure that this Day Tenta definitely has to be eight characters or less. So you'll notice it's eight characters. Whatever you name this folder, it has to be eight characters, and I'm not sure about this one. So you can see. Um, okay, so then you would press enter here as well. I'm not going to. And then you press D, you type in D O T T. You'll know you'll you're doing it right because of the remarks that will show up. So you press enter and then it will cause the um it'll cause the game to launch. But the shortcut that we want in the future is that we don't want to type in all that code every time we want to play it. So those lines that we typed in there, um it's it's the same as what we have here. So we um, can um, okay. So we type in the exact same lines that we did, um, even pressing enter when we pressed enter before. All right, we save that or command S, and then we close it. Now, when we click on DOS box, the game should launch or run anyway. Um, it'll tell you a bunch of um, setting up things. It works fine, so. Just follow those directions and press enter. Day of the Tensicle. Running in DOS box. Alright, well, um, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.